All right, all right. Let's see if this is working. How's everybody doing this morning out in Facebook land? I usually do these on YouTube. Uh, but let's see, I'm just getting my little alternate monitor set up here. Make sure that I can be heard. Yes, I can be heard. Hello, Elizabeth Grace. Thanks for joining me, and thanks for everybody on and who is going to watch this later. Now I gotta turn that down because of the delay. Okay, so, hey, uh, what's this all about? Why am I here? Why am I not over on YouTube? Well, you know, most of the people that have joined my course already follow me here on Facebook and I wanted to make this a quick informal Q&A session, let you know a little bit about what this whole new course is who I am, why I'm doing this, and how it can benefit you. And then you'll have a chance to answer questions at the end. So let's get started, not waste any more time. So who am I? Uh, I'm Joshua Seth. You've probably heard my voice before. Why does that guy's voice sound familiar? Because I've done hundreds of commercials, thousands of promos, and about 100 animated TV shows and movies over the years. Uh, I play Ty, the leader of the Digimon, on the hit TV show and series of movies. I think we've done eight movies now uh, called Digimon. Uh, there I am in the middle as my favorite role. To, well, I mean, Ty, of course, is everybody's favorite, but I, the favorite movie I've ever done, which is called Akira. You can see it on Hulu. I'm in SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm also a keynote speaker and live entertainer for over a decade now. So uh, for a long time, actually for 20 years, I've made my living on a microphone. And it occurred to me during this shutdown, during this worldwide pandemic, where most of us are stuck at home binge watching Netflix, that, hey, maybe I could give something back. Maybe I can share with you guys this skill set that I have spent my life developing and which can benefit you as well. And what is that skill? It is your voice, your ability to use your voice to make a difference in the world. And whether or not you want to be a voice actor or you're a content creator and you use your voice in that content or you're in corporate America and you want to be able to advance your career and use your voice to lead others, to influence people, to inspire Whatever it is, you use your voice to communicate your personality. And so then that begs the question, well, isn't my voice just what my voice is? Isn't this just my voice? I sound like this. I sound like this. Well, I sound like this. I, whatever. No, you're, it's not. Okay. This is myth number one. That might be the only myth I do today because we're going to do this quick. But, you know, it's a muscle. All right. Isn't this the body I've always got? Is there any benefit to me going to the gym? It's the same thing, okay? You, your voice is a muscle. It's connected to your body. As you, you work out, do exercises, and learn to develop your body, you can get a strong physique like me. And it's the same is true with your voice. As you learn to do vocal exercises, breathing exercises, postural awareness exercises, various exercises that I show you how to do in my course and get insights into how to play all the notes in your vocal instrument, well, then that becomes a much more powerful communication tool. And your voice is how you communicate your personality to others. It's what you use to influence, inspire, and lead. So while we're stuck at home, most of us, which most of us are, you can be developing this skill set, and it will hold you in good stead throughout your life. This is the course. It's called Train Your Voice, Change Your Life with me, Joshua Seth. And I take you through 30 days of video lessons, exercises, and challenges. And then I review your work in a private Facebook group. We've already gone through one group, which was the June group. They're about three quarters of the way through it right now. The feedback's been amazing. I'll show you one of the testimonial videos in a few minutes when we wrap this up. And the July group is starting on Monday. If you want to get in on this and join, I've only got, I think, seven, it might be six now, six or seven spots left. And I'm going to put here the info link, boom, into the chat. So there it comes up in the chat, joshuaseth.com slash training. You can go over there when this is done. Check it out. If you're interested, you can buy. If not, you can put your name in. You could still get the 
the intro training for free. It's five videos, but for the additional 30 days of videos, training, exercises, and then feedback from me at the end of the course, you're going to get to be on a group coaching call with me, and I'm going to help you to apply everything that you've learned. So if you're a speaker, you do a minute of your speech, and then I help you tweak it and show you how to deliver it with more passion, with more authenticity, with more vocal power. If you're a voice actor, we'll run down some audition copy and I'll act as a director to help you to hone and to tweak your presentation as well. If you're a salesperson, we'll work on your clothes. If you're a leader, we'll work on your ability to engage and inspire the troops, that sort of thing. So, oh, we got more people coming on now. There's Victor. Hey, Victor, thanks for being here. Moving right along now. So here's my question for you. You could put it in the chat. That would be helpful. Do you like the sound of your voice right now? Of course, our voices change throughout our lives. The way you sound now is not the way that you sounded when you were a kid. You went through puberty. Presumably you were an adult. If you're watching this, you went through puberty and your voice, your voice probably changed from something like this to something like that. Now, when I started as a voice actor, people always say, Hey, Joshua, how did you get this interesting sound that you have? Well, I sounded kind of like, kind of like Ty and Digimon. That was basically my voice. And it was limiting my career because I didn't have enough vocal range. So I took training. I went to a person that trains opera singers out in Los Angeles. I took Alexander Technique, which is postural training to connect my body with my voice, which I get into a bit in the course. And I took vocal exercise training from a singing coach as well. And all of this helped me to access the vocal power that I had waiting inside, but which I wasn't connected with yet. So I didn't really like the sound of my voice, but I do now because it's given me a career. Now, how important is the sound of your voice? I mean, actual words versus tone. How much do the words that you use, the content that you deliver matter as opposed to the style of your delivery? Well, the research shows that your words, your content only account for about 7% of your influence in communication. If you want to be a more influential communicator, it doesn't come down to just knowing more facts and giving people more information. People will tend to tune you out when you do that. It's a lot more about your tone of voice. 38% tends to be the generally accepted statistic there. 38% is your tone of voice, your ability to engage people emotionally. I don't like your tone, right? That's where that comes from. Don't you take that tone with me. So <laughs> learn to take a tone that attracts rather than repels people. And the rest of it is your body language. In the fourth week out of the four-week course, I do get into body language, physiology, gesture, and expressiveness, physical expressiveness, so that you can link up your body and your voice, connect them together to attain 93% of that vocal power. These are some common vocal weaknesses that I find. Feel free to contribute in the chat, by the way, if you have questions or you want to disclose anything about what you're looking for. So common vocal weaknesses tend to be a monotone delivery. That's when every word you say sounds like this. Maybe you're louder on certain words and softer on others, but every note is the same and it's very hard to listen to. Uh, vocal fry tends to be like at the end of the sentences. Like, okay, so you start out normal like this and then you keep going without taking a breath or having enough breath support so that the quality begins to fade and it sounds scratchy at the end. Like some people talk like that all the time. They're called Christian Slater or Jack Nicholson. But for most of us, that's a no-no and it's hard on the vocal cords. Also up talk. That's when you ask everything like a question at the end which makes you sound unauthoritative and it's kind of annoying. Also seeking rapport. Now I had an outside salesperson last year and he was on my behalf talking to prospects and clients and I fired this guy because he was seeking rapport all the time. So they're seeking rapport, maintaining rapport, and breaking rapport. I get into all that. I don't have time right now. I get into it in the course, but it has to do with how your tone is 
matching, pacing, or leading the other person in the conversation. Let's just leave it at that right now so we can keep moving on. Also, improper placement. Is it up high in your head like this, which makes you sound sort of weak and immature? Is it down in the basement, down in your chest? A lot of guys walk around talking with chest voice like this. You know, just want to sound cool. But you're not Batman, okay? you got to find the proper placement, which is a balance placed forward in your facial mask. If you're an actor, a performer, a voice actor, a podcaster, this placement issue is extremely important. I get into it in week one of the Train Your Voice program. So what we're getting at here is that your voice is your instrument, but nobody ever taught you how to play it. I mean, unless you're a singer, you've probably never gotten this kind of training before. The only difference between singing and speaking is whether or not you hold the note when you speak, whether or not you hold the note, whether or not you hold the note. That's it. Your brain doesn't know the difference. So if you think, well, I'm not a singer, I'm not going to learn to play my instrument. Yeah, we all are. We are wind instruments and the power of our voice is the breath that supports the sound that we make. And I will train you and show you how to use it well. And that will increase your ability to communicate with others in every relationship in your life. So speaking of which, who is this for? Performers, actors, voice actors. You're all communicating through your voice. It behooves you to learn to use it well. Public speakers, you spend so much time working on your credibility, your expertise, your website, your slides. What about the, the thing that makes the speaking actually happen, which is your voice? It blows my mind. I'm a member of the National Speakers Association, and not everybody in there has a great voice that you want to listen to through an hour keynote or a half-day training. You know, it's tough to engage your audience no matter how much you know if it's hard for them to listen to you. So public speakers, definitely. Sales and leadership. Sales is simply a transference of enthusiasm. So your ability to sound authentically enthusiastic and not pushy or manipulative is crucial to your ability to close sales. And leadership comes down to having a vision and being able to impart that to the people whom you are leading. That happens through your vocal communication as well. Content creators, if you're a podcaster, if you're a vlogger, a YouTuber, if you're pushing out content online, that means people are sitting there having to listen to you. You should sound as good as possible. In the absence of our physical presence, we can't own an actual room by walking in and looking all cool and being all magnetic and demonstrating our personality physically, we've got to do it on camera and on a mic. But the mic's more important than the camera, which is why we listen to podcasts, but we don't watch silent movies, right? That's why it's more important to train your voice than have a fancy camera. I've got just a webcam right now. doesn't really matter, but I got a really good mic. And finally, dating and relationships, especially at the on date one. Date one is all about how you make that other person feel. Are you attracting them toward you, right? That's what makes you attractive. It's not just like, do you have a shiny shirt on or have you been to the gym? But when they close their eyes and think about you later, what sticks? It's the sound of your voice. So it works for that as well. And then finally, and I'm going to take your questions and wrap up within five minutes here. So thanks for being here, everybody. Find your authentic voice and become more influential. That's the primary thing that I want to teach you in the Train Your Voice course. Who are you? What do you really sound like? So you can raise your voice and make a difference in the world. How to use your body language to connect with people and command their attention. How to place your voice so it really makes an impact when you speak. And speak so that people will actually hear you and want to listen. When you speak, do other people listen or do they tune you out or talk over you? We can fix that. Finally, different kinds of microphones, mixers, and how to use all this equipment and make the best use of it, even if you're not spending a lot. I told you I have a really good mic here. It looks like a $1,200 Neumann mic. 
This mic actually costs less than a hundred dollars. It's not so much about how much you spend. It's just knowing where to spend it. And finally, how to overcome your fear of public speaking so that you can magnify your message. And then as we come into the close, uh, I'm going to just show you what's actually in the course. Now I'm running this uh, course right now for the second time ever. This is group two. The July course starts on Monday. And you're getting a 50% off discount on it because I have not completed all of the course materials yet. I'm very transparent. I believe in honesty and openness and transparency in all things. So let me just tell you right now, not everything's done. You're going to see some blanks and that's stuff that I'm going to be recording while you're going through it in July. And while the first group is still going through the program as well. But everything that you see here is done. And these are all daily videos. So your first week, I just want to get you up and running really fast. You're going to record yourself and post it in our private Facebook group. And I'll give you feedback so that you'll know what to focus on at the outset to sort of orient the direction in which you go. Next, a little bit about me. Why should you listen to me? What is my background? What is my training? And how am I going to use that to benefit you? Uh, next, we get into what is your vocal archetype, and then we're going to fix it, whatever element of voice is holding you back. Just get in there and like, like a little screwdriver, just tightening up a screw, just fix that one vocal archetype element so that you can get a rich, warm, resonant, powerful, confident, authentic voice as soon as possible. Next, we go over diet and your vocal health, how what you put into your body influences the sounds that you get out of it. And this is an issue for so many people, even public speakers and performers have an issue with confidence or nerves backstage or before you go live like I'm doing right now. So what to focus on and what exercises to do so that you can speak with confidence every time. And then day seven, uh, I haven't done that one yet. That is still coming. In week two, we get into the breath and the breath is the foundation for your sound. So I go into that in depth in week two before we ever get to training the sounds that you make with your voice. Day eight, introduction to breath work, what it is, why it's important, how to do it. Day nine, ujjayi breathing. And that's something that I've taught in the seminars, trainings, keynotes for 10 years. Ever since my first book, I've written three. I wrote my first book almost 10 years ago and I've been doing this exercise, showing people how to do it, tens of thousands of people. I've shown now uh, for almost a decade. It's just that important. Next, diaphragmatic breathing, which is foundational to all performers or should be back when people used to actually get training for what they do. Actors and performers would always learn to breathe diaphragmatically so that they could project their voice on stage, but it will help you even off stage. Day 11, box breathing for confidence. So powerful that Navy SEALs even are trained to do this. And then better breathing for stress reduction. This gets back to creating confidence. Days 13 and 14 are downloads that are still coming. The, I want you to be able to download some exercises that you could put into your phone so that you can listen to them as well. That's what's coming there. Week three, the voice, the five foundations of voice, which are your tone on day 16, your pitch on day 17, your pace on day 18, your volume on day 19, and your vocal variety, how you mix and match all of these elements to create more musicality in your voice on day 20. And day 21, the wrap up again, not done yet, it's coming, but that's why you're going to get a big discount on this. Week four, we get into body language, and that's right about where we are with the current group. And yesterday's class was on what to do with your hands when you're speaking so that they support and magnify your message when you speak. And I'm actually going to stop there because we're running a little bit long, but the rest of week four gets into body language and elocution, and then I get into equipment and other sorts of downloads and exercises. So as you can see, you're getting an awful lot of value for bing, $97, I know, right? It's Eventually, it's going to be about $199 when it's all completed, but because you're taking a chance by becoming 
a member of the course while I'm still developing it, I want to show my appreciation by offering this discount to you. This will be the last time that I run it at that rate. I promise you that because I'm giving you so much content and you're going to be able to jump on to the YouTube li or the, the Zoom live with me for group coaching at the end. So you're actually getting a group, uh, a group coaching call, which would otherwise cost the same as the course. So if you're interested, just hop on over to joshuaseth.com slash training. You can check it out, get more info and get signed up. I think we have six, six slots left right now. I'm going to, I'm going to just double check that. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You go over to the training page, I'll give you a little video. You can register for the July training. I put that up two days ago. So most of it's sold out. And again, it begins on Monday, July the 13th. And you can join right there. So uh, let's just see if you got any more questions that we can throw up. Oh, JD Scott says, I speak too fast. How to fix that? Yes, I will be addressing that as well. In fact, there's a whole day devoted to that. And I used to have that issue too. That probably means that you are very smart, JD, because you're thinking so fast that the words are coming into your head faster than other people can process them. But if you don't modulate your pace to speak at a level that will allow others to listen to you, then they're either going to ask you to repeat all the time, which is annoying for you and them, or they're just going to tune you out because it's too much work. So I absolutely get into that during the class and spend an entire day on it. Somebody else saying, Victor, I also speak pretty fast. That's interesting. I have a, I think I have a lot of smart people that obviously that, that follow me, but I did used to do that as well. And it took a bit of work, but it's work that is worth doing. And Elizabeth says, oh, favorite voice actor, Gushk, oh, Gushk, thank you so much. <laughs> and finally, uh, Ronald is asking, do you accept video submissions of someone speaking before they take the course? Yeah, absolutely. You can PM me right here on Facebook if you want me to take a look at something. But you should know once you're actually in the Train Your Voice course, you get to submit samples along the way in the private Facebook group. So I'll watch them and review them for the benefit of everybody that's in the class as well. And we're going to be doing that every week. And then, of course, the Zoom is a interactive visual experience as well as being on the mic. That, that'll be at the very end. So that's it. I'm going to wrap up this one a little bit longer than I thought it was going to go. If you're interested in joining the Train Your Voice Change Your Life course, then hop on over to the training link right there. And I look forward to helping you to improve your voice and your communication skills as your instructor and guide starting Monday. I've done nothing else for two months than work on this program because we're in quarantine. I never would have put this together if we weren't in quarantine. I was out in Los Angeles voicing a movie the day that they locked down. And then I came back here and I've been in my home recording studio working on this for you guys ever since. I'm so excited about it. And I just want to go out by showing you one quick video testimonial from one of my current students. And I really hope that you join and then I'll see you on Monday in the course. Well, let me just say that this course exceeded my expectations. I'm a professional corporate spokesperson and also live event presenter. And most of my work is, well, live events. So I took this course so that I could learn more about how I could be impactful and really capture an audience in this growing virtual world. Not only did I learn all that I needed to know to really tackle the virtual aspect, and that's gonna be things like my setup and managing the technical side of things, but also some tips on growing that part of my business. I also got help to improve my presentation skills overall. You know, really showing me where I had room to improve in some areas that were, well, my weakness and correct some bad habits that I'd also fallen into. Uh, I would probably say the most valuable part is all of the advice and also the expertise that Joshua shares. I mean, working with somebody who's been a leader in his field for years and him being able to share all of this with us, I mean, that's priceless. I'm telling you, sign up. 
This is a solid investment in yourself.